Hi guys, it's the Binky Bunny Shed here. Um, I thought I'd do my first video on why you should convert either an old shed um, for your rabbits or buy a shed for them. So I bought a shed. Um, I got it from where did I get it from? I got it from Argos. It was £250 and it's a seven foot by five foot shed. And I've attached the run onto the side, um, which is a four foot by four foot. And then I do have another six foot by four foot run, but we're currently moving house soon, so there's no point in my dad slabbing the um, the floor. So we're going to do that when we get to the new house in a few weeks' time. So I'll take you inside. Okay, so I'm in the shed now. There's the bunnies. There is Speckle. Hello, Speckle. And that's Rocky, the grey one. And they're both male. Um, I've had them for about three months now and they haven't been neutered at the moment so if they do any naughty business that's why um, they're getting neutered in about 10 days time and um, so this is what the shed looks like at the moment I've only had it for a couple of weeks as I said it is a seven foot by five foot um, shed I did currently have a hutch um, this was from Pets at Home, it was £100, and um, it's a two-tier two -tier hutch. And I thought I'd just put the hutch in the shed for now. I'm not sure whether I'm going to take the hutch out and put um, like shelves on the side, um, so there's more room, but they do really like the hutch, and they like sleeping in the top area, and I've put a bit of fleece on the side, so the whole of the top area is completely covered. Hello, Rocky. Right, mister. Okay, sorry about that. My battery went. I had to go and recharge it. Um, so I was saying, um, I'm a big believer in a hutch is not enough. Um, there's a campaign on it on the RAWF website, which I will post a link at the bottom. Um, I think that sheds are so much better. I mean, if you've got the money and the space, definitely get one. This hutch cost me a hundred pounds. And um, I got two runs, which one was £70 and one was £50. Um, which hutches do range from about £100 up to £300. And this shed cost me £250. So it's almost the same price, really, as getting a hutch and a run um, just to get a shed. But I do strongly recommend that you do attach a run to your shed, shed as well. Um, my dad just cut a hole out at the moment so they can run in and out of the run and what we're going to do is either put a cat flap or um, like a piece of wood that I can flap down at the night so they're locked in there so what I'm going to do is give you some reasons why you should either convert your old shed into a bunny shed I'm do it again, or buy a shed for your rabbits Okay, so my first reason is because there is loads more space for them to run around. This means that they can um, run around freely and also they can binky, which rabbits really enjoy doing. Um, if they're just shut into a hutch, then they haven't really got a lot of running space, like they can't move around as much. Um, even if you do um, take your rabbits out of the hutch, um, for a few hours um, even that even though they get to run around for a few hours in the other you know for the rest of the day they're still locked up in the hutch so at least they can run around freely in the shed um, my second reason is you can stand up to cleaning it <laughs> um, it's so much easier um, to clean a shed out than to clean a hutch out I had my hutch for about two months I had this hutch and I had it um, attached to my four foot run and my six foot run. But it is, it's just getting over the winter now. Um, but I had, did have it in the winter time and it was a nightmare to clean, especially when it was snowing and raining. At least then, if you're in a shed, you've got the roof. So you've, it's so much easier to clean out. And what we've done is put lino on the floor. There is poos on the floor at the moment. I haven't cleaned it out, so I'm cleaning it out today. Um, but it's so much easier to wash and sweep. What I do is sweep the shed out 
once in the morning and once on the evening and then I'll do a complete thorough clean once a week or sometimes twice a week if it does get pretty mucky. What are you doing Rocky? Hello Mr Rocky. <laughs> um, another reason is, oh, what do you want? Another reason is you can put more toys in it. I haven't got a lot in there at the moment. Most of the toys are in the run. Um, yeah, so you can scatter some toys around for them and they'll enjoy playing with them, which you because you're good boys. Um, another reason is you can attach runs to the shed easily by, like I said, cutting out a, a hole in the side of the shed and either attaching a cat flap or um, what I'm going to do is put a piece of wood. I usually just put this piece of wood in in front of it at the moment and the hutch has another side to it which I attach to it as well. So you've got to make sure that you do close the shed um, at the night time um, so foxes and cats and dogs can't get in there. Um, another reason is um, what I used to do is lock them in at the night so because um, I've got allotments out the back and there's quite a few foxes around there so I used to have to always lock them in on the night so that's like nearly 12 hours that they're just stuck into the hutch whereas if they're in a shed they've got all this space to run around in and they've got the hutch to run around in um, so yeah and like I said you can put lino down on the floor so it washes really easily and what I've done is you can always also put your storage in here so I put my basic storage stuff in here. So I've got my food in there, my pellets, uh, their hay box with all their hay in. I've got treats, I've got their ready grass and I've just bought some new fleece for them. And this is going to be their new hay rack that I'm going to attach just to here. So I can put their fresh hay in the top and there's their litter tray. I just need to put some nails in the side. But this was from the 99p store. I've seen them in um like garden centers for about seven pound and it's exactly the same thing where this was from the 99p shop and it was 99p <laughs> um and i keep my dustpan and brush in there and i do usually keep my brew in here as well but it's outside at the moment hello mr rocky what are you doing and he likes chewing my piece of paper that i've got all my notes on don't you <laughs> So yeah, those are a few reasons why you should buy a shed for your bunnies. Because you're very happy in it, aren't you? But you do like to poo all over the floor in a moment. <laughs> um, so if you are younger and you're trying to convince your mum and dad to get you a shed, uh, maybe give them, uh, show them this video and hopefully it will convince them to get you a shed. Um, there he's just munching on his pellets. Nom 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 nom. Is that tasty? Is that tasty lucky? <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video and um, please comment, rate and subscribe and if you have any requests um, please feel free to ask me them and I'll do a proper shed tour soon when I've got time and when we move house hopefully I'm going to decorate this whole side and it's Easter soon and I work in a craft shop and they've got loads of bunny stuff which I'm really excited about <laughs> so I'm going to buy a load soon and decorate the shed at the side and I also got this little sign that says welcome and it's got two little bunnies in it and that was from the 99p shop as well and I'm going to attach that outside um, but it's raining at the moment so I don't want it to get wet <laughs> so I'll stop rambling on and I'll cut the video and I'll see you soon um, hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Bye.